Welcome back to another Collectible Spotlight. I'm that Halloween movie collector, Pat. This week, we're going to take a look at something uh, pretty interesting, something I didn't even know existed until um, somebody posted in one of the Halloween groups that they had just ordered one because I had never heard of it before. The, ha the Fontaine Playing Cards Brick Box. Now, this was released back in 2020 by Fontaine Cards. It was, um, and they sold out real fast. They were not cheap. They're not cheap to buy on the secondary market. I think uh, they were about $150 uh, brick box, which is a box of 12 uh, in a special box. And individually, they were like 10, maybe $10, $15 a pack. I mean, it's crazy for playing cards, but Halloween collectibles, it's not unreasonable, especially uh, for us hardcore collectors that have to have everything. So with that being said, let's dive into this. Fontaine Playing Cards is a boutique brand of playing cards founded by a young 17-year-old magician and sleight of hand um, card trick uh, kid, Zach Mueller in 2013. Mueller created an Indiegogo campaign to help launch the first release of his playing cards and not only reached his $10,000 goal, he actually doubled it and got $21,000. So didn't think there were that many people out there that were into playing cards, but apparently doing some research is a big market for collectible playing cards and people doing card tricks that have to use specific types of cards or, you know, I just had, it was a whole world I was uh, unaware of, but I thought it was pretty cool. Since 2013, Fontaine has released several special decks, usually with a limited run of 10,000, which usually sell out fast. In 2020, Fontaine teamed up with Compass International Pictures to release their 34th deck of Fontaines, the Halloween Fontaines. Halloween Fontaines, one of 10,000 decks printed at USPCC, which is the, um, the United States Playing Card Company, who manufactured playing cards since uh, 1867. You can purchase a maximum of 12 decks, which they call the brick, in a custom box, or up to six single decks if you chose. Featuring standard number cards, iconic photos from Halloween on the court or face cards. Um, they also featured an advertising card for the Rabbit and Red Lounge, which is pretty cool. And the Jokers are who else but young Michael Myers. And the Ace of Spades, the iconic opening pumpkin from Halloween 1978. How cool is that? The back of the cards are black with the Fontaine logo in white. Best of all is the special feature on the brick box. When you press the lower right hand corner of the front of the box, lo and behold, it plays the Halloween theme and the jack o' lantern's eyes and nose light up orange. How friggin' cool is that? When they released, I think I paid, like I said, about 150 for the box, maybe a little bit more. For some reason, I don't seem to remember as much. For the brick box, uh, and they were around 10, maybe $12 a, a pack or something like that. On the collectible market now, I'm seeing the brick boxes complete, selling for, you know, as low as $200, and some people sell them for $400. And the uh, single packs for about 15 to $25, you know, uh, still sealed. Um, but that's crazy prices for them because to be honest, like I said, you know, if, if all those collectors out there that are collectors for a long time, like myself, you could ask anything you want. Doesn't mean you're going to get it. Just because somebody's saying $400 doesn't mean they're going to get it. Do your research because I have seen these, uh, people sell them for 200 bucks, which is pretty reasonable for something that's out of print and, uh, complete and still working. So you can find them out there. And they're actually very, very cool. I was a little hesitant. I'm like, wow, am I really going to spend this amount of money on playing cards? But when I saw them, I saw the box lit up and played the theme and um, had to have them. So they're very, very cool. They're sitting right over yonder right there. Actually, while I'm, while I'm spot sitting there. And I want to let it play too long because I'm sure I'll get a ding for playing a Halloween theme. But it's very, very cool. I don't know how long the batteries are going to last, and I got to see if there's a way to change them. So, um, with that being said, let me shut it off. Yeah, I got to see if there's a way to change the batteries. I'm sure, like, the, those round, um, like, type of watch batteries or something, but figure that out when the time comes. That being said, hope you enjoyed this week's Collectible Spotlight as much as I enjoyed putting it together and doing some research and learning something new. And hopefully you guys are learning something new when I'm doing this as well. Um, if you'd like to see a Collectible Spotlight or anything behind me, 
don't hesitate to reach out to me. Everything is in the description below, all the links. But you can go to my Instagram page, which is at that Halloween movie collector, where my collection is pictured and detailed. And for everybody to enjoy just as much as I enjoy it here. Uh, I also do a weekly Halloween collectors podcast on Sunday nights at 7 p.m. on the Michael's Horror and Pinball channel. A great group of guys, some good friends, and uh, check it out. It's a lot of fun with some great people. And we do a lot of cool, uh, you know, spotlights and just just a lot of fun stuff, some rankings, and just a great place to hang out and just talk Halloween and horror geek. I also have a collector's group, Halloween and Michael Myers Collector's Group, over on Facebook. Join, um, hang out, meet some good people, buy, sell, trade, get some information, some news. Just a lot of fun with a good community, good community of people over there. So be sure to check it out. So until next time, hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you soon.